As we got busier, we really struggled with the idea of letting go of, yeah, the brand. And I think a lot of, I hate the word entrepreneurs, but a lot of entrepreneurs or startups, you think that no one else can do what you do. And the reality is they can, and often they can do it just as well as you, and sometimes they can even do it better than you. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> so we really believe in investing in people, um, and we put a lot of time into you know, finding those people who get, get us and who are a good culture fit, mm. and then you have to invest a lot of time in training them and molding them, and drilling into them <laughs> exactly yeah. how you want them to speak and act. And I think it's really important to learn to let go. We're still very active involved in both the brands but there's only so many hours in a day and you get to a point where you're bottlenecking your business and you can't progress without I guess mm -hmm. bringing more people in. Yeah I think it is you just have to find the right staff who can carry that out for you because yeah we just don't have enough time to do everything and, and when you can find those people who just get it and they become an extension of you or your brain they're so valuable to the business and you'll do anything to yeah. retain them. Yeah, but be prepared to have staff actually plus two time yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah. We'll sit down at the office and I would spend probably the first hour and a half to two hours of my day fielding questions from the 20 or so staff that we have across a variety of topics. So whilst they're doing all these things for you, you almost end up with less time to do the little tasks that you set for yourself. So it's an interesting balance to try and find.